sitting comfortably or lying comfortably, your eyes closed, breathing deeply in and out, in and out, and in and out. Feeling your body against the chair or wherever you are. Allowing yourself to relax. Let the thoughts that pop in to your mind just stay there momentarily or just pass through. Just letting yourself be present to the sounds that are around you. They will get dimmer as time goes on and you get more relaxed. I want you to imagine now a sock, a woven sock that's made of light come up over your feet and it's going to pass up your body, not yet, but in a second. And this, as it comes up, as it touches the different parts of your body, it relaxes you. It heals and relaxes as it moves. It might make you feel warm or cool, whichever it is that you like. So it's just touching the very tips of your toes now. And now it starts to travel up up your toes, up your feet, to your heels. Remembering, as it does so, any tension that you have in that part of your body just falls away. It might feel as though you're floating, it might feel as though you're heavy. As it comes up, your calves on one side, your shins on the other, just letting any tension that's in those muscles fall away to your knees, and now up your thighs, those muscles, those big, strong muscles, letting all the tension slip away, feeling wonderfully relaxed and calm, as it comes up to your waist now, letting those big muscles, let the tension relax, let it slip away and up your chest at the front and your back at the back all those big and small muscles around your vertebrae around your rib cage all the muscles letting tension just flip away slip away goes up your chest and your back up to your shoulders, including your hands from your fingertips, up your hands, up to your elbows, and then up your upper arms to your shoulders. Letting this wonderful woven light stocking allow all the tension and stress to slip away and in your shoulders, where sometimes we hold quite a lot of tension, let them slump if they're holding any tension, if they're holding any stress. Up your neck now, feeling, feeling the relaxation come in, feeling calm, and up to the base of your skull at the back, and up to your jaw at the front, relaxing your jaw, letting that become limp, any tension slipping away, your tongue inside your mouth, that's a big muscle, just letting that relax, perhaps behind your front teeth, take it away from the roof of your mouth if that's where it was, you might like to just let your lips open slightly, and then this passes over the back of your head, 
and over the front of your face, letting all those little muscles around your eyes, your nose, your lips, just slacken and relax properly. And then up to the top of your head, all your scalp relaxed around your ears. And then a beam of light connecting you to the universe. As the roots connect you to the earth. And you're there stabilized in the center, but relaxed. And you find yourself standing at the top of some steps that you will be going down in a minute, not yet, but in a minute. And then you find your hand on the banister as you slowly feel the cool of it under your hand as you start to go down the steps. And you can maybe feel your feet or see your feet or hear your feet as you go down from 10 to 9 to 8. I wonder if you can feel this relaxation coming down to seven, to six, maybe you can hear it, to five, you can see it, to four, you can feel it, as you go down to three, two, one, down you go. And then at the bottom, you're in this lovely white light, and you're drawn towards a room in front of you, but it's not really a room, it's just a door to what seems like a room, but actually, as you open it, you're to the most wonderful place you've ever seen, the most wonderful place you've ever been, relaxing, calming, but also super joyful. It may be a place that you've been before, a place in nature, a place you really love. It could be a place you've never been, but you can imagine. It could be in the mountains, perhaps, or maybe the seaside on the beach with the surf or the the surf washing in, maybe hammering onto the sand, or it could be just lapping in gently. You might be able to hear seagulls. You might be able to hear other wild birds in your mountain place. It could be a meadow. It could be anywhere you want, anywhere you want it to be. And I want you to imagine those sounds, perhaps hear those sounds. Feel where you are. Feel the joy of being where you are in this relaxed, calm place. Really relaxing into this place. Perhaps you sit down. Perhaps you lie down. You might actually want to run around. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is for you. But you are feeling the joy. I wonder if this is the most relaxed you've ever been. I wonder if this is the most comfortable you've ever been. It doesn't matter. And from this place, I want to anchor in the feeling of relaxation for you by telling you that you can come to this place anytime you like. You just say the word hypnopedia and you get to this place. Hypnopedia brings you to where you are now. It might be another word that you want to use instead, so you use that word. But for me, I use hypnopedia, and for many people, hypnopedia brings you to this place of deep relaxation. So hypnopedia brings you to this place and you're feeling relaxed and comfortable. So hypnopedia brings you to this place of deep, deep relaxation. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it, the more relaxed you'll feel. One more time, I'll say hypnopedia to bring you and anchor you into this lovely relaxed state. When you do it, you might become possibly 10 times more relaxed than this. With practice, you'll get better and better. And now, I'm going to ask you to come back again in a minute so that you can practice this for yourself. Now, you can see that door bringing you back 
And I want you to walk through that now or float through that however you want to get through it. And on the other side is that staircase from one up to two as you come up to three, moving up to four, to five, to six, to seven, eight, nine, everything's coming back up to 10, feeling great. You can open your eyes now. And I want you to do that for yourself. Practice that. And that is self-hypnosis. And from that place, you can do all sorts of magic.